Welcome to Electron Line. Let's take a look at what we call the divisibility rules. It's actually really handy if you know how to figure out if the number is divisible by another number, especially the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. And we'll also take a look at 11, 10, and 8. How do we know a number is divisible by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, by 9, and so forth? The rule for the number divisibility by 2 is that the number must be even. That means that the last digit must either be a 0, a 2, a 4, an 8, or a 0, or 10. For example, 14 ends in a 4, that's an even number, this is divisible by 2. 26 ends in a 6, that's an even number, that's divisible by 2. 2126, again, it ends in a 6, that's divisible by 2. And here we have 30,288, but it's even because it ends in an 8, therefore it's divisible by 2. Any number that ends in an even number is divisible by 2. How about the number 3? What's the rule there? Well, all we need to do is add the digits and see if that number then is a multiple of 3. For example, I add 1 plus 5 together, that's 6. Since 6 is divisible by 3, 15 is divisible by 3. 36, I add 3 plus 6 together, I get 9. Since 9 is divisible by 3, so is 36. Another way of looking at it is if every number in the number or every digit in the number is divisible by 3, 3 is divisible by 3, 6 is divisible by 3, then the whole number must be divisible by 3. How about 4,158? Well, what I can do is, I can add the 4 and the 5 together, and I can add the 8 and the 1 together. Since 4 plus 5 added together is 9, which is divisible by 3, and 1 plus 8 is 9, which is divisible by 3, the whole number is divisible by 3. 4,158 can be divided by 3. Over here, what we could do is, again, 4 plus 5 added together, that adds up to 9, so that's divisible by 3. Now we still need to add the other numbers together right here, so I'm going to add 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 2, that's 8, that's 14, that's 22, that's 24. Now I add 2 plus 4 together, that gives me 6. Since 6 is divisible by 3, the whole number is divisible by 3, and I don't have to worry about the 4 and the 5 because together they add up to 9, which is divisible by 3. That's how we can quickly tell if a number can be divided by 3, no matter how large it is. How about divisibility by 4? All we have to do is look for the last two digits. If the last two digits of the numbers of the number is divisible by 4, the whole number is divisible by 4 because 100 is divisible by 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25, so any number that is 100 or bigger, all we have to do is look for the last two digits. 16, that can be divided by 4, so 416 is divisible by 4. 48, that's divisible by 4 because 40 divided by 4 is 10, 8 divided by 4 is 2, so 548 can be divided by 4. How about 6192? Another thing that I look for is if I can add a multiple of 4 to this number, for example, if I can add 8 to this, which I know is divisible by 4, that gives me 6200. That means any number that ends in 100 or 200 or 300 can be divided by 4, so I know this one can be divided by 4. Here I look at the last two digits again. Since 12 can be divided by 4, the whole number can be divided by 4, and that's the end of the examples for 4. How about 5? 5 is always really easy. All we have to look for is if the number ends in a 5 or a 0, the whole number can be divided by 5. This can be divided by 5, so can this, so can this, and so can this, no matter how big the number is. How about divisibility by 9? The rule is sim similar to that for divisibility by 3. If we add the two numbers together and they add up to a multiple of 9, the whole number can be divided by 9. 8 plus 1 is 9. We know that 81 can be divided by 9. Here I can add 7 plus 2 together, that's 9, and I have a 9 there. Since 7 plus 2 is 9 and 9 is 9, they both can be divided by 9, the whole number can be divided by 9. Same here, 5 plus 4 is 9, and I have a 9 there. This can be divided by 9. And here, all we have to do is add the numbers together. 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 2, that's 10 plus 6, that's 16 plus 2, that is 18. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, therefore, this number can be divided by 9 as well. Very slick, very easy, and really helpful to very quickly be able to figure out if a number is divisible by 9. 
On the rule for divisibility by 11, we need to have a three-digit number. It only really works for a three-digit number and for certain three-digit numbers. But if the first and the last digit adds up to the middle digit, the whole number is divisible by 11. 4 plus 1 is 5. We can divide this by 11. 3 plus 3 is 6. We can divide this by 11. And 4 plus 5 is 9. We can divide that by 11. Again, really handy to know that. Divisibility by 10, that's very straightforward. As long as the number ends in a 0, it can be divided by 10. 20, 330, 4,200, 65,380. As long as they end in 0, the number is divisible by 10. Finally, let's take a look at divisibility by 800. Oh, I'm sorry, by 8, not by 800. It turns out that 200 can be divisible by 8. So can 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. All we have to do is look at the last three digits and see if the last three digits are divisible by 8. For the number 128, I can think of that as being 120 plus 8. I know that 8 can be divided by 8, and I know that 120 can be divided by 8 because 120 is 3 times 40, and 40 divided by 8 is 5. So I know that 120, which is a multiple of 40, can be divided by 8. So we're looking for multiples of 200 and multiples of 40. 40 is divisible by 8 as well. 2,128. Well, 120, this again, is same as before, 120 plus 8. Just like here, I know that this must be divisible by 8. How about the number 4,976? All I need to add to this is a multiple of 8. If I add 24 to that, I get the number 5,000. Since it ends in an even thousand, we know that's divisible by 8. And since it's only 24 short to get that, and 24 can be divided by 8, this number is divisible by 8. And here I can do the same thing. I can say that this is equal to 10,300. Uh, actually, let me write that. This is 10,400 minus 32. In other words, if I add 32 to this, I get 10,400, which is a multiple of 200, which means that that number, 10,400, can be divided by 8. And since I am only different from that number by 32, which is a multiple of 8, I know that this is divisible by 8 as well. Those are some neat divisibility rules, which makes it so practical to very quickly determine if a number can be divided by one of these numbers. And it really helps out very quickly to do mathematics and all kinds of problems if you can quickly determine if it's divisible or not by a particular number. And that's how we do that.